Multiplying decimals. Decimals can be represented by pictures. Let's look at the decimal 1 and 34 hundredths. First, you represent the whole number as one unit. Then, you represent the 3 tenths as three parts of the whole unit when it's divided into 10 parts. Finally, you represent the 4 hundredths as four parts of the whole unit when it's divided into 100 parts. Creating models like this can help you understand how multiplying decimals works. Let's use these models to do a simple decimal multiplication problem, 4 tenths times 3 tenths. First, let's look at the models for 4 tenths and 3 tenths. To multiply 4 tenths by 3 tenths, just lay one model on top of the other. This creates 12 overlapping hundredths, which demonstrate that 4 tenths multiplied by 3 tenths is 12 hundredths. If you look more closely at the example, you will notice two important things about problems like this. First, the multiplication facts stay the same. If we were to multiply the whole number 4 by the whole number 3, our product would be 12. In this decimal problem, we use the same digits to get our answer. We just use a decimal point to express that answer. Second, the number of decimal places in the product depends on the total number of decimal places in the factors. To find the correct number, count the decimal places in each factor. Then, add them together. This is the number of decimal places you need in your product. In this problem, each of the two factors has one decimal place, so the product contains two decimal places.